What is going on guys? The Elevated Male back again with a new topic, the top 10 signs of a damaged woman and what to look out for, what to avoid because we don't want you in a difficult situation, right? So we're gonna talk about this today, the top 10 signs of a damaged woman. And we're gonna start off with number one, which is that she is disrespectful to you, wait staff, or people that are at her level or below her, right? So why is this important? Well, the way that she treats other people is a direct reflection of her character, right? So a woman that is disrespectful to someone that is at her level or below her, or someone that doesn't have any direct effect to her, shows a very big void in her character. And this is not someone that can be trusted. This is someone that when you are down on, on bad times, she will be disrespectful, insulting to you, and won't have your back in difficult situations, right? So this is not the type of woman that we want involved in our life because it's just a terrible flaw to have in a person's personality, right? You don't want someone that's gonna be disrespectful or insulting or rude to you when you need them, right? Or anytime that you have a bad time. So a terrible trait to have, so avoid this, right? Number one. Number two is that she talks about abusive past relationships and all of her exes are abusive or disrespectful root, right? There, she's had terrible treatment from all of her exes and there's not one single positive um, relationship that she's had in her past, right? Now, it is possible that she has had a slew of, you know, terrible relationships, right? But the chances are extremely slim that every single one of her exes you know was a terrible guy and if that was the case it obviously showcases that she's a terrible choice of character right so another trait to avoid um another sign that she is damaged right uh, not always the case but a lot of the times it is right so just one more point towards the 10. so number three is that she has alcohol or substance abuse issues right if she's drinking every single day or going out every weekend, all weekend, clubbing, partying, drinking herself to death and, you know, on substance abuse, uh, different narcotics, different drugs. Right. And is always having to meditate or medicate herself with these drugs to keep herself afloat is a really bad sign. Right. We all enjoy, you know, a lot of us will have alcohol here and there and enjoy ourselves, you know, um, occasionally. But this is something that is always used as a crutch to cover up. Um, damage or emotional issues it's a really bad sign so definitely something that i would avoid right number three number four is a common theme with a lot of women in the modern era is that she is a feminist or man-hating liberal let's just say right now a lot of people get really defensive with this you know with all good reason you know in their viewpoints but the truth is, for most of us guys, we all know that, you know, these hardcore feminists, these leftists, these, you know, ridiculous pink, purple hair wearing, you know, bull nose septum piercing, you know, pussy hat wearing. It's just it's just a I mean, really, I don't even really need to explain this one. It, that's that's self-explanatory. That, avoid that type. Right. Avoid a woman that has those traits. Right. Um, Number five goes along with the substance abuse. This is a woman that is on excessive amounts of uh, antipsychotics, uh, antidepressants, um, heavily medicated. Um, this just showcases that she has a lot of issues that she's trying to deal with. And if she's being prescribed mood stabilizers and uh, a bunch of antipsychotics and things like that, um, it's a really bad sign, right? Um, someone that's having to medicate at that level to keep themselves steady it's something someone that's not going to be stable for you and you're going to have consistent issues with right so definitely another sign that she's a damaged woman um definitely something else to avoid right um number six is that she is always taking excessive amounts of selfies so one of the things that this showcases is if she's constantly having to uh, take selfies and post pictures repetitively um she has self-esteem issues um uh, this is a narcissistic trait, right? So someone that is having to take pictures multiple times a day, every day um, to boost their self-esteem, this is obviously that there's some type of internal issue, some type of internal damage that needs to be dealt with. And you should not be the one that is dealing with these issues, right? Another bad sign. Number seven is that she has 
a lot of highs, lows, and is consistently depressed and has excessive amounts of anxiety. So if she's always anxious all the time and she's going through these uh, bouts of really high highs and really low lows on a daily basis, this is someone that has issues monitoring or, or controlling their, their mood, right? There's some kind of imbalance going off inside of her. And this is something that you should be on alert for and definitely try to avoid, you know, because you, you never know what you're going to get into. She could be really calm and collected one time, you know, and, and later that night blow up and explode at you, right? This is not something that you really want to deal with. Um, number eight is that she rushes intimacy. Now we all know, or, you know, a lot of us probably know that there are women that, you know, will rush sex as a way to um, gain the approval of the guy that they're interested in. Um, but a lot of this depends on the, the format in which she's doing this, right? If you've never met this woman before and you guys have barely talked and she hooks up with you, um, you gotta understand that high value women won't do this, right? High value women will not just you know, meet some guy in within an hour or sleep with them. You know, that's that's not something that a high value woman would do. Then this is definitely a sign that, you know, that she has damage um, because women just will not do that. Um, and, you know, like I said, a lot of the, the, the context matters when involved with that, you know, how she goes about this, but it's just a really bad sign. So be wary of that, right? Um, number nine is that she never appreciates your achievements and she's always um, looking at a way to criticize your accomplishments, right? So I've noticed that with damaged women, a lot of times that they will um, be kind of quiet when you mention something good, something that you accomplish. It's like they might have this kind of fake, you know, oh, yay, you know, uh, but it's it's just it's just really fake. They're not really happy for your success. Right. And this is because they have these issues internally within themselves and they're not genuinely happy within themselves. Right. So uh, one of the things you'll notice is that they'll be critical of your successes and um, not really appreciative. Right. So uh, do you really want somebody in your corner that's not genuinely happy for the things that you're you know, accomplishing in the direction that you're going, you know, no, you don't. So definitely another sign to avoid there. Um, number 10 is that she talks bad about her friends and she's always involved in constant drama. Um, yeah, I mean, that one's pretty self-explanatory too. Uh, she's always involved in drama, other people's issues. Um, a lot of times they talk about these things in order to feel better about themselves, right? If they can talk about, you know, oh, Cindy, you know, got cheated on by her boyfriend, you know, yada, yada. It makes them feel better about the situations that they're in, right? By criticizing other people. So that's definitely a clear cut sign that she is damaged, right? And then I'll throw in another one, honorable mention, number 11, let's just say. Uh, has a, an excessive amount of male friends, male attention. Um, this is my personal opinion. I think that this is a really bad sign myself, right? You do have some women that are tomboyish, you know, that have male friends, but typically if a, if a woman has to surround herself with excessive male attention, she's usually, usually getting this in the form of validation, right? Um, and you know, anytime that a woman has to have excessive amounts of validation in order to feel good about herself, there is massive insecurities there, right? So with that, that pretty much summarizes the top traits of an emotionally damaged woman. These are the things to look out for. Um, you know, sorry if I hurt some of your feelings, but you know, in all honesty, this is the truth. And you know, guys need to look out for these things. And if she has a majority of these traits, then this is something to be extremely cautious of, right? Everyone can have maybe one or two of these things and, and that's, you know, do with that what you want, right? But if she has a majority of these traits, you're absolutely dealing with a headache waiting to happen. And your best bet is to walk away and avoid, right? So with that guys, thank you for watching the video. And uh, go ahead and uh, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the post notifications, hit those to all. And uh, stay tuned for future video, guys. It's the Elevated Mail, and we're out.